السلام علیکم اور رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی ورچوئل کلاس روم ایم کے اے کلاس روم ناؤ لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو ٹیوٹوریل ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ بونڈ ایرکسس Bonds are considered to be less risky than equity shares. Nevertheless, they are not entirely risk-free. Two types of risks are associated with investment in bonds. That's are default risks and interest rate risks. Risk is possible of variation in returns. The actual returns realized from a bond may vary from the expected returns either because of a default on the part of the issuer to pay the interest or principal or because of change in market interest rate the investor has to access has to assess the uh, the impact of these two sources of risks one returns from a bond before investing in bond so we know that bond are less risky securities though it is not risk free at all that's why it bears the two types of risks one is default risk another is interest rate risk now uh, we will uh, try to going to discuss this risk one after another so bonds have two types of risks one is default risk and other is interest rate risk now default risk default risk refers to the possibility that a company may fail to pay interest or principals on the stipulated debts that is the default risk that means the issuing company may be failed to pay the interest or principals to the investors that's the default risk poor financial performance of the company may lead to such defaults a part of the interest and principals may not be received at all or may be received after a long delay in either cases the investor suffers a loss with goes to reduce his return from the bond credit rating of debt securities is a mechanism adopted for assessing the default risk involved the credit rating process involves a quantitative analysis of the company's business and management and a quantitative analysis of company's financial performance it also considers the specific features of bond being issued credit rating services have developed rapidly now there are different instructions engaged in the credit rating of debt securities and investor may rely on rating provided by this credit rating agencies alternatively do his own credit rating to assess the default risk of the bond so it may arise if the company is failed to provide its interest and principles now we will see interest rate risk Another reason for variation in the returns from bonds is the change in market interest rate. So that is the uh, we know in, in previously that if the market interest rate increases the price of the bond decreases. So that's uh, include actually the interest rate risks. An investor in bonds receives interest annually or semi-annually. He reinvests these interest amounts each year at the market interest rate. 
Thus, interest is earned when the interest receives from the bonds each year. Finally, at the end of the certain holding period, the investor may sell off the bond at price which is equal to its face value. During the holding period of bond, meanwhile the market interest rates may change. If the market interest rate moves up, the investor may be able to reinvest its annual interest receives from the bond at a higher rate than the expected that's why he would gain one his a reinvestment uh, acti activity but as a bond price market interest rate are inversely related we know that bonds uh, bonds prices and market interest rate are inversely related future bond price will decline below its face value when the market interest rate moves up consequently he would suffer a loss while selling the bond if the gain on the reinvestment is less than the loss on the sale the investor will suffer a net loss on account of the rise in the market interest rate so uh, these are the actually interest rate risks if the market interest rate market interest rate goes up then the coupon rate then it becomes less at attractive whenever it becomes less at attractive it is a, a bond price bond price will sell below its face value face value that means if the market interest rate rises uh, at that uh, period uh, these investors uh, face their their investment losses by the selling their bonds in the market and opposite case it may gain profits so these are uh, actually these are two types of interest uh, these two two types of risks having in the bonds that is default risks and interest rate this all about today stay home stay safe assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu